Hi there, let's take a look at the new native script extension for Visual Studio Code. First things first, I'll install the extension from the Visual Studio Code extension gallery. From the command palette, type ext and then type native script. The extension will appear in the search results list and you can select it or just simply click on it to install the extension. Visual Studio Code will then ask you to restart and thankfully Visual Studio Code does that very, very quickly. Now the extension is installed. Click on the debug tab to configure it for your current native script project. Click on the gear icon and select native script to generate the required launch configurations. This will add a .vs code folder to your project and drop a launch.json file inside. Now all of the possible launch configurations are displayed in the drop down menu inside of the debug panel. I'll select launch on iOS emulator and press the start button. This will launch my native script project on the iOS emulator and attach the VS Code debugger in Visual Studio Code. You'll notice that the status bar turns orange in VS Code and the debugger breaks on the first line in my app.js file. The default behavior of the debugger is to break on the first line in your application. I can simply click on the continue button to continue loading the application. The Visual Studio Code extension can debug both TypeScript and JavaScript. In my application, I'm using TypeScript, so I'm going to set a breakpoint right here in the actual TypeScript code, not the transpiled JavaScript. Now, when I execute this action in the application, the debugger hits the breakpoint. In the debug panel, I can now inspect the whole application and all of the variables within the currently visible scope. I can add a watch to any specific variables just by clicking on them with right click. I can also add an expression also with a right click. If I step over the code, all of those expressions are re-evaluated. I can also traverse the entire call stack. All console log statements from the application will appear in the debug console window. I can type directly in the debug console. For instance, I can inspect the value of this. I can also change values directly from the console. And if I continue, you can see that this number that I've updated is also updated in the UI. The debugger also provides the full stepping functionality that you would expect. I can step over. I can step into, and eventually I will step down into the native script cross-platform modules. I can then step right back out again. If I press the stop button, the VS Code debugger is detached from the application, but the application is still running in the emulator. The breakpoints are now no longer hit. I can attach the debugger to any already running native script application instance by selecting attach on iOS emulator and pressing the start button. Now the debugger is attached, and we know that because the status bar in VS Code is orange again. If I were to try the application action again, it will now trigger the debugger. This extension also provides me with two new menu items, Run on iOS and Run on Android. If I select Run on iOS, it will then ask me if I want to run it on the emulator or on the device. I'll select Emulator, and behind the scenes, the TNS Run command will be executed with the emulator flag and now all of the console log statements will be sent directly to VS Code. In the future, we plan to add a lot more commands to this window, such as live sync and some testing commands that would enable you to run all unit tests from a single menu option. That's the recently released native script extension for VS Code, and you can get it today directly from the VS Code extension gallery.